Welcome to RelapsePreventionPlan.net's free online rehab lessons. We believe that it's never too late to learn to prevent relapse. Welcome to this presentation on addiction and mental health. The learning goals for this presentation are to list the common mental health problems and disorders caused by the drugs you have used, list the most common mental health problems for people who experience addiction, and to identify actions that you can begin to take about your mental health problems. In the beginning, there was, well, there was nothing. God said, let there be light, and there was light. There was still nothing, but you could see it a whole lot better. So why do people take drugs? Drugs and alcohol, which is a drug, are always taken to impact the mind. Drugs change the way we feel about ourselves, smart or silly, our perception of others, friendly or sexy, our physical sensations, reduced sensitivity, reduced sensitivity to pain, or increased sensitivity to sound and color. People start using to get pleasure and share the excitement with other people who are using, and to increase fluency, efficiency, energy, to relieve boredom, expand consciousness, to reduce inhibitions, or to enhance creativity. Your brain is a three pound bundle of nerves that controls every thought and feeling in the human experience. It has a hundred billion neurons that have a hundred trillion synaptic connections with each other. It fills roughly the volume of one quart and each person has a unique set of connection strengths that determine how their brain reacts to sensory information it receives and responds to emotional states, plots its future behavior, and the nerve network in your brain sits in a complex biochemical soup that nourishes neurons. The changing chemical flow stimulates or inhibits each neuron. The central nervous system consists of nerves in the spinal cord and brain. It gathers and interprets information from the peripheral system. All of your mental and emotional thoughts arise in the central nervous system. Nerve cells communicate using chemicals. Neurons or nerve cells are not physically connected. They are separated by a space called a synapse. They make chemicals called neurotransmitters and use these chemicals to transfer information across the synapse. The body and brain interacts through nerve signals. There are two routes of connection between brain and body. The sensory and motor peripheral nerves carry signals from every part of the body to the brain and from the brain to every part of the body. The brain reacts to chemicals in the bloodstream and the bloodstream carries chemicals such as hormones, neurotransmitters, and modulators. Chemical substances enter the bloodstream when created by the body in response to an activity such as running, or when inhaled, eaten, injected, absorbed from the skin surface, or absorbed when placed in a body cavity. The chemical substances travel via the bloodstream and influence the brain's operation. Drugs affect your brain and how you feel. Most recreational drugs mimic the naturally occurring brain substances that produce feelings of well being, relaxation, pleasure, or excitement. Heroin works on the same brain rate receptors that are stimulated by the brain chemicals that control pain. Amphetamines and cocaine cause release of dopamine the brain chemical that produces pleasure and stimulus seeking. Your experience of addiction is unique because of the complexity of the human brain, the variable strength and purity of drugs used, different social and cultural backgrounds, 
your individual health and drug use histories. And still, the probability of certain outcomes with the use of particular drugs is higher the more you use and the longer you, you use particular drugs. Continued drug and alcohol use causes mental health problems due to the addiction lifestyle, such as helplessness, shame, guilt, anger, and social isolation. Mental disorders such as depression due to the physical effect of drugs and alcohol on the brain, and mental disorders such as anxiety that are triggered or worsened by drug use. Drugs are always taken to change the way you feel. Initially, drugs are taken to change the way you experience yourself or others. People keep taking drugs to try and re-experience the same good feeling and to take away an unpleasant feeling. But no one expects drug-induced mental illness. People who use drugs or alcohol to feel better often wind up with psychiatric symptoms that make them feel much worse. The side effects caused by a drug's impact on the brain often mimic the symptoms of psychiatric illness. Depression, mania, anxiety, delusions, and hallucinations can be triggered by intoxication or withdrawal from drugs or alcohol. Drug users face common mental health problems. Severe depression follows long-term cocaine use and resembles major depressive disorder. PCP causes delusions, hallucinations, and agitation resembling schizophrenia. Amphetamines mimic mania and can look exactly like a panic disorder. Have you experienced mental health problems due to drug use? Psychological and behavior problems are caused by the direct effect of the substance used on your brain chemistry. Whenever a psychiatric problem occurs only during intoxication or within one month of stopping the drug, it is probably due to the effects of the drug. Each of the classes of drugs can result in mental health problems. Drug-induced mood disorders include depression, persistent feelings of hopelessness, dejection, poor concentration, lack of energy, inability to sleep, suicidal tendencies, and mania, excessive physical activity, rapidly changing ideas, and impulsive behavior. Drug-induced anxiety disorders, such as mental experience, intense dread or fear of real or imagined danger, and physical experience, such as increased heart rate, sweating, trembling, weakness, and stomach or intestinal discomfort. Drug-induced sexual dysfunction is an, in, an inability to experience pleasure in sexual relations. Drug-induced sleep disorders are an inability to experience enough restful sleep. Drug-induced psychosis is a lack of contact with reality, delusions, hallucinations, incoherence, and distorted perceptions of reality. Drug-induced delirium or dementia. Delirium is extreme restlessness, confusion, and sometimes hallucinations. Dementia is progressive deterioration of intellectual functions such as memory, while other brain functions, such as those controlling movement and the senses, are retained. Prolonged and heavy use of drugs harms mental health. So take out a piece of paper and a pen, and as we go through each category of drugs, think about your pattern of use and what you may have experienced as a result of the drugs or the combination of drugs you have used. Write down any of the following psychiatric symptoms you have experienced. Alcohol and sedatives typically cause depression, anxiety, sexual dysfunction, sleep disorder, psychosis, such as delusions, hallucinations, incoherence, delirium, such as in extreme restlessness, confusion, and hallucinations, and dementia, 
such as deterioration of intellectual functions, such as memory. Cocaine and speed typically cause depression, severe depression following long-term cocaine use, anxiety, sexual dysfunction, sleep disorder, psychosis such as delusions and hallucinations, and delirium such as extreme restlessness and hallucinations. Caffeine typically causes anxiety, sleep disorders. Cannabis typically causes anxiety, psychosis such as delusions, hallucinations, incoherence, and delirium such as extreme restlessness and hallucinations. Hallucinogens typically cause depression, anxiety, psychosis, such as delusions, hallucinations, and incoherence, and delirium, such as extreme restlessness and hallucinations. Inhalants typically cause depression, anxiety, psychosis, such as delusions, hallucinations, incoherence, delirium, extreme restlessness, confusion, and hallucinations, and dementia, such as deterioration of intellectual functions, such as memory. The evidence about drugs and alcohol and your mental health. Drugs add up. The more you take, the worse it gets. And time makes a difference. The longer you use, the worse off you are. Drugs worsen existing mental health problems and addiction always goes hand in hand with mental health problems. Depression and anxiety are the most frequently experienced mental health problems when using drugs or alcohol. Add them up. Using more than one drug results in increased probability you will experience a serious mental health problem. And time makes a difference because the longer you use a drug or combination of drugs, the greater the prob probability you will experience mental health problems. And drugs just make things worse. If you already have a mental health problem and continue to use drugs, things are going to get worse. Addiction goes hand in hand with mental health problems. The most commonly experienced or triggered mental disorders are depression and anxiety. Drugs and alcohol, depression and anxiety. Substances may be used to cope with depression and anxiety, and substance use can trigger or worsen anxiety or depression. Depression and anxiety are always associated with long-term use and withdrawal from stimulants, club drugs, cannabis, opiates, and alcohol. Three of a kind, depression, anxiety, and substance use. They result in negative thoughts and feelings, including helplessness, shame, and guilt. They lead to avoidance behaviors and isolation from social life. They strain your personal relationships and coping skills, and they interfere with daily functioning. The evidence suggests that mental health problems and addiction occur together. The 1996 U.S. National Comorbidity Study reported that 29% of the general population aged 15 to 54 had both an alcohol and drug problem and a mental health disorder in the past year. In 2002, British Columbia data indicated that over 79% of people aged 15 to 64 receiving addiction services were also receiving mental health services. And 20 to 40 percent of people with mental health illnesses also receive treatment for an alcohol and or drug abuse. So treat addiction and mental health problems together. Numerous studies in many countries confirm that having either a substance use problem or mental health problem increases the probability of having both types of problems at the same time. Based on the evidence, Make Your Last Relapse the Last supports you to assess your mental health, particularly for the most commonly occurring problems of depression and anxiety.
then each drug class results in typical behaviors and experiences. Each different class of drugs causes a unique set of behaviors and experiences. As we progress through the following slides, think about the negative behaviors and experiences you or your friends may have had with drugs or alcohol. Take out that same piece of paper and jot your notes down. Alcohol intoxication creates changes in thoughts, feelings, and behavior. As alcohol levels rise in early drinking, you become extroverted, talkative, and content. With additional drink, good judgment is impaired, increased aggressive and sexual impulses occur. Loss of inhibition can allow suicidal thoughts to change into a dangerous suicidal act, and high alcohol levels can lead to death. The anti-anxiety and sleep medications experience. Anti-anxiety, tranquilizer, and sleeping pills cause progressive changes similar to alcohol, including a sense of well-being followed by impaired judgment, slurred speech, loss of inhibition, poor coordination, and inattention. They are often used in combination with alcohol. The PCP experience. Lower doses include slurred speech, nausea, euphoria, talkativeness, disinhibition, impaired judgment, dizziness, unusual eye and muscle movements, and poor coordination. Intermediate doses result in impaired judgment, distortions in sensory perceptions and body image, reduced response to pain, confusion, depersonalization, and feelings of unreality. In high doses, PCP causes impaired judgment, delirium, seizures, amnesia, and coma. Typically, PCP intoxication results in legal and interpersonal problems due to aggressive behavior and poor judgment. The opioid experience. Opioid intoxication is characterized by highly reinforcing euphoric rush, followed by apathy, sadness, agitation, impaired judgment, slurred speech, inattention, and memory lapse. High doses can result in respiratory distress, or coma, or death. Tolerance to the euphoric effect develops quickly. Soon people seek the drug only to feel normal. A lifestyle is adopted that would be unthinkable prior to the addiction. The inhalant experience. The effects of the aromatic hydrocarbons in a diverse group of products are rapid and include euphoria, a sense of invincibility, slurred speech, disinhibition, blurred vision, impaired judgment, visual distortion, dizziness, and loss of coordination. High doses result in respiratory distra distress, stupor, coma, and death. Impaired judgment results in harmful and negative behaviors. Impaired judgment is common to all the drug classes and alcohol. It results in interpersonal problems, legal problems, and risks to health and life. It also results in dishonest communication, low tolerance for stress, short-term decision-making, harm to self and others due to increased violence or despair. Drugs and alcohol negatively impact communication and life skills. Prolonged drug and alcohol abuse results in behaviors that decrease relationship success, decrease workplace success, and result in social isolation. But there is good news. You can develop coping skills through education, discussion, and practice. Anxiety, depression, and substance use problems can be managed through cognitive skills, anger and stress management, communication skill development, lifestyle changes. Have you already taken the first and hardest steps? Have you completed detox? Have you stopped using? Have you recognized you have a problem with drugs or alcohol? Observe yourself. 
Become more aware of your own feelings and mood changes. Become more aware of the negative communication style and thinking patterns you may have developed. Become more aware of positive changes as you put into use your new skills. Our free online relapse prevention lessons will help you to develop the knowledge and skills you need to improve your mental health and develop a plan for major mental health problems, as well as learn many coping skills, including managing anger, depression, and anxiety. So what are your next steps? Take advantage of this program to obtain information that you need to take control of your life and mental health. As part of, as part of your road to recovery and self-mastery, read and reflect on the provided material Learn and practice new behaviors and ways of thinking. Maintain abstinence because a healthy brain is your tool to attain well-being and happiness. And make concrete plans for continued learning when you complete our free lessons. Imagining, imagination is the beginning of creation. You imagine what you desire and you will, you will what you imagine. And at last, you create what you will. Here are the references for the original research of this presentation. By watching this presentation, you have learned to list the common mental health problems and disorders caused by the drugs you have used. You are now able to list the most common mental health problems for people who experience addiction and you can identify actions you can take to reduce your mental health problems. Don't forget to complete our free downloadable workbook, Make Your Last Relapse the Last, available at relapsepreventionplan.net. Remember, this video is not a substitute for proper medical care and consultation with your physician or qualified healthcare professional. Don't ignore professional advice or delay seeking treatment based on the information in this video or on this YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. You can do it. We believe in you. So don't give up.